Hey everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a scatter plot in Microsoft Office 2007. Uh, before you begin, make sure that you've got your data in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, to begin making the scatter plot, you want to select that data by using a left click and hold. All right. Once you've selected all of your data, go up to the Insert tab, left click. Then come over to the Scatter option, left click. And then you want to take the top left option, which is Scatter only with markers. All right. And there is your scatter plot. And it basically, you're done at this point, but not really. We want to make that scatter plot look a little bit better. And I mean labeling. I'm going to make it a little bigger here. Okay. We're going to start by getting rid of this legend. Uh, Excel defaults to a, a legend here, which I think is fairly uh, uh, unnecessary if you only have one set of data. So we're going to left click on that and press the delete button. Gone. Uh, I think we're going to change the title as well. Left click on the title and then left click again in here and I'm going to change that to head circumference as a function of height. And that's more descriptive because it tells me, yes, we're looking at head circumference, which is the Y axis, as a function of height, which is the X axis. I think that's good. Click on outside and you're set. Now, speaking of X and Y axes, I think we should show our readers what the X and Y axes have on them. So we're going to go up to Chart Tools and right here the Layout tab, and we're going to select Axis Titles. We'll start with the horizontal which is the x-axis. We're going to select title below axis. Okay, now you can either click in the actual title box or the formula bar, which I like doing. And we're going to say, okay, that's height, whoops, spelled it wrong, height in inches. And then press enter, and then your title drops right in there. And if you want, you can move it around a little bit. It's up to you. Uh, now I think we should also add the vertical axis title. So back up to axis titles, primary vertical axis. You've got a number of choices here, rotated, vertical, or horizontal. I like the horizontal. That's just, it's up to you really. And here we're going to have head circumference. I spell that right? Yeah. In inches. Press enter. And it does shove the the uh, graph over a little bit, but you know, not unbearably so. And that, my friends, is a good looking scatter plot. And I think uh, that'll get you started. Again, this is just, a, this is just a, a primer, really. You can get in here and change font sizes if you want to. For example, if you want to make the title larger, left click on the title, go over to Home, and then you can change the font size like you would in any other document. Okay, you can do the same thing for the axis labels or the axis. Um, the axis numbers you can change well you can change lots of things so this was just to get you started and uh, hope it was helpful